Hello everyone. Today we are taking triangles topic from chapter number 4 basic geometrical ideas class 6 standard. So what are triangles? See we have already discussed the concept of polygons. What are the polygons? Polygons are the closed figures made up of line segments. So suppose if we have only one line segment. Suppose this is a one line segment. So with this line segment, can we make any polygon? No. Okay, suppose we have two line segments. Suppose one line segment I have drawn like this. Second line segment I have drawn like this. So with these two line segments, can we make a polygon? Again, no, because see, we can make like this, but it is not closed. Now suppose I will add one more line in this. So now we have total three line segments. So suppose these are two line segments. Now we have three line segments. Now you can see with these three line segments, I have made a closed figure and this closed figure is made up of three line segments. So it, it's a polygon, right? And we know that this polygon is a triangle. So what is a triangle? Triangle is a three-sided polygon. So here I have written triangle. It is a three-sided polygon. You can see this. It is a three-sided polygon. Now here I have drawn a triangle. Now it is a closed figure you can see it is made up of three line segments number one number two number three so it is a triangle now let's see the name of the triangle is a b and c so it is a triangle a b c now here in this triangle you can see that this is the one side okay a b this is the another side b c and this is the another side a c so what are the sides what are the sides of this triangle Okay, the line segments by which this polygon is made up of is called the sides. So, how many sides are there? First side is our A, B. Okay, we can write A, B or B, A. It's same. Now, second side is here, B, C. So, we can write down B, C or C, B. And third side is A, C. So, we can write A, C or C, A. So, how many sides are there for the triangle? There are three sides. Okay, now can you tell me how many angles are there in this triangle? Yes, you can see here. See, this is one angle, this is another angle, and this is one more angle. So, how can we write the names of the angle? This is our angle A. Okay, this is our angle A. Or we can write it as angle B A C or angle C A B. Okay, now second angle is our angle B. So this is our angle B or we can write it as angle ABC or angle CBA and third angle is our angle C and we can write it as angle ACB or BCA. So total three angles are there in a triangle. Okay, three angles. Same way we have three sides in a triangle. Okay. Now can you see these points, this point A, this point B and this point C. What are these points? See, this side AB and this side AC. These two sides are meeting at this point. It's like this. These two sides are meeting at this point. So this common point of these two sides is known as the vertex. Okay. And for these two sides, you can see this is the common point. And for these two sides, AC and BC, this is the common point. So these are called the vertices. So what are the vertices? The common point of common meeting point of two sides. So how many vertices are here? Three. A, B and C. Okay. Now we are writing vertices. So we are not putting the sign of angle. Okay. These are angles. So we have put a sign of angle. Angle A, angle B and angle C. And these are vertices. So only A, B and C. Now. As we know, what are the triangles? Can you give some examples of triangular shapes around you? Okay, now I have a few examples here to show you. See, these are the chips. You must have seen uh, these chips. These chips are called bingo. And if you will see the shape of these chips, see one side, second side and third side. And it is closed. That, it, that means it is a triangle. Okay, An another example in your geometry box, there is a set squares. Okay. You can see one side, another side and third side. So it is a triangle. See, this is a sandwich piece and the shape is triangular. 
a slice of pizza. If you will see this, this is a triangular shape. And some traffic signs you must have seen on the road. Some are in circular shape, some are in square shape, but some are in triangular shapes. So these are the few examples of triangular shapes around us. Now we know what is a triangle, what are the sides, angles and vertices of a triangle. Now you can see one triangle here, triangle ABC. Now when we have to write the name of the triangle, how to write the name of a triangle? So whenever we are writing the name of the triangle, so instead of writing triangle word, instead of writing the word triangle ABC, what we can do, we can use the symbol of triangle. So what is the symbol of triangle? The symbol of triangle is this, the small triangle. This is the symbol of triangle. So if I want to write the name of this triangle, I can write as triangle A, B, C. Okay, A, then B, and then C. So whenever we are writing the name, it should be cyclic. Okay, either A, B, C, or we can write A, C, B also. So we can write down triangle A, C, B also. Or what is the name for this triangle? We can start with vertex B also. So we can write triangle B, A, C. So we can write triangle B, A, C. Or we can write in reverse order also. So triangle B, C, A. See the figure? So triangle B, C, A. Or we can start the name of the triangle with vertex C also. So we can write triangle C, A, B or we can write triangle C, B, A. So for only one triangle, there are many options to write the name of this triangle. Okay, you can write the name of this triangle in any ways. So this is all about the triangles and its name. Now let's discuss the different regions of a triangle. Now you can see this is a triangle, triangle A, B, C. Now first we are discussing the interior of a triangle. So what is the interior of a triangle? The region inside the three sides of a triangle is called the interior of a triangle. Now you can see in this triangle we have the three sides AB, BC and CA. And the region, the area which is inside the, these three sides is called the interior of the triangle. So this portion which I have shaded, this is the interior of the triangle triangle. The next part is the exterior of a triangle. So the region outside the three sides of a triangle. See, these are the three sides. Iske bahar, outside. So this area, this area and this area. This is called the exterior of a triangle. And the third on the triangle. Now, on the triangle means on the sides of the triangle. It should not be either inside or outside. It should be on the boundary. So, this, this, when we will put, uh, write something here on the side, this is on the triangle. Now, for example, suppose I am showing a point P here. Now, this point you can see, this point is inside the three sides of the triangle. So, that means this point P is in the interior of a triangle. So, here I am writing point because it is in the interior of the triangle. Now suppose one point I am writing Q. See this point, this dot you can see this. This is the point Q. I have written point Q here but this dot is showing the position of the uh, point. So see I have made this with green color. So can you tell me what is the position of this point? Now this point is neither in the interior nor in the exterior. This is on the triangle. So point Q is on the triangle. Now I am taking one more point. Suppose I am taking another point that is the R. Now this R point. Now where is this R point? It is outside the three sides of the triangle. So that means it is in the exterior of the triangle. So I have shown three points. One is in the interior that is point P. One is in the exterior, that is point R, and one is on the triangle, that is point Q. So, this is about the regions of the triangle.